So if you need calendars, the calendars for planning are up here. The lesson is up here. The assessments are on your table. So you have a pre and a post assessment on your table. Take the assessment out of your binder. Take the one that's in there because it's wrong. When we say that this is living, you already did that. Here's the correct one. So now you have a clean copy of the correct of the correct one. Yes. So just to be clear, we distribute the post assessment ourselves. Yes. And then how do we communicate that with you? That's my question. How do you give me the, our data the feedback? You're going to give that. You'll look at things in PLCs. Your curriculum leader. Right. We'll get that and gather that information and give that to me. And what, so, kind of, what kind of information do you want? I want I'm with you. in your PLC. <laughs> mm -hmm. In your PLCs, what I would like is for you to in your PLC decide. Okay, here's what a one looks like. Here's what a two. Here's what a three. Here's what a four looks like for every question. And then that's what you're going to send me. And then I'm going to look at that in every middle school. So we we don't send you anchors though. We just send you our end result. Yes. And then we send you our rubric. Correct. Because from there, gotcha. after I hear from every eighth grade teacher in the district and right. I get all that information, that's where a key will be made. So that's where things will be more. So then we should be developing some sort of rubric. For me, if I'm going to be planning a lesson scope and sequence for this specific post assessment, perhaps maybe we need to develop a rubric so we know what we're testing and what it looks like. The, the rubric is in there, it's pretty generic, but there's right. a rubric in there. And the pre and the post are identical. The only thing that's different, the only thing, I mean, the types of question, it's, it's the text, right? I think. Um, so when you went through what do kids need to do for, you know, one through nine, they're going to be the same exact thing okay, right. on the post. All right. You know, we did okay. that on purpose, so it would be pretty easy to do. So really what I want is just the, I need the information so that we can. Okay. So I'm, you know, I'm, more I'm sorry. So thank you, ma'am. The person who suggested this text. Have they done that with this rubric before? They have. And do we have anchors to support that as a building? Um, what we want with this particular one is we actually wanted you to come up with that. And then our committee, when we meet again, those of you on the committee, when we meet again, that's when we're going to be going through these and trying to norm them and then decide. To so there's no options for us to even see kind of like the release items they would give us kind of the PowerPoint and what some good answers are. That they, yeah, they've not, done, they've not done that. Okay. That part, but I can see what I can find there. We we so the goal is to have every bit of this teacher created with support. Mm -hmm. Kent School District teachers creating for Kent School District teachers and kids. And so the process, I think, of norming is huge. And that's why if we have everybody working on that and then the committee coming together to try to give you that. And, and I'm sure um, if you have what you believe, I mean, we're going to want to see, here's an example of a one, here's an example of a two, here's an example of a three and a four. That way, not just the rubric, the actual work, because otherwise we won't have anything to norm. So maybe a good idea as a PLC would be to differentiate the difference between a three or a four and kind of identify those those individual words so that we would know what strong answers are and what aren't. So when we start, we can talk about and use that same language. Yes. We got through. Gotcha. Because I, I would imagine, you know, in a three you're going to have evidence and reason. Okay. You're in, and in a four you're going to have um, still you're going to have evidence and reasoning, but it might it might be deeper, it might be nothing, I mean, it, it might be something that's not just black and white, it's a deeper understanding of the text, mm -hmm. where you've explained that and shown the reasoning. Complexity. It's the complexity. Okay. Yeah, I'm way more about the depth, mm -hmm. <laughs> not, not, if you give me three pieces of evidence and three pieces of reasoning, <laughs> yep, I, I know that you got it, but how deep is the thinking I, and that would be kind of where I think that the, most of the conversation needs to be around. <clears throat> All right. And I have three curriculum managers in this room. So that's helpful. Yes. And a coast. I did one, two, three, and I've got the most time. 
so yeah. from Cedar Heights. So really, I mm -hmm. might as well say I have yeah. four and two, and I might just put the change in. Yeah. So the so. so I'm just taking oval, oval, oval for two. How did it get last night? Okay. Yeah. So then, yeah. The thinking on is like post. I want to post. I'd be really interested. I want to get you caught on the thinking on the post. Um, I agree. I agree. So do the game. I think we can do the game and have them reflect on the same two days. So, I mean, technically, technically, we can tag this over here. So, we can cut it off and then we can do it individually. And then put it in right here. Like, like she was saying, yeah, we're playing this game and game. Um, if this is a big full we're going to start with it. And we're going to describe it. Okay, so you have done the feedback, please. Leave the feedback cards in the middle of the table. That should be the only thing that I see on the table uh, when we leave. There. Right here, see, this is what it looks like. Okay, so we've done that. I think Alyssa explained that on the back of the card. Um, helpful. What you still need support. So here is what's going to happen. One of the things that the committee was very important to the committee for the entire time is that you, uh, you, you, the teachers, okay, so us collaboratively or collectively hold all the answers. Okay, that that's this is created by teachers for teachers to help students. I mean, everything has been um, teacher-created, every bit of it. Alyssa um, and I have facilitated none of the creating there. So here's what's going to happen for PLC work during the school year. Um, what we want you to do at the very, kind of the beginning, um, as soon as you can when your PLCs meet, is take the post-test. So you just, not obviously not your students, just you take the post-test. Then use the rubric uh, to create an answer key, giving examples for each level, one, two, three, and four. Then once your team has finished that, your, um, your <laughs> curricular leader is going to give me all of that information. So they're going to email me that information. There, and I see all the curricular leaders with their phones <laughs> taking pictures. Hopefully Sarah has her phone out there. I don't know if you should take this picture for her. I trust uh, her. <laughs> so then what's going to happen is all of the PLC work is going to be looked at and normed to create a key that's going to be sent back to you in time um, for you to have when your students take the post-test. So basically every teacher Every 8th grade teacher is going to have input into the 8th grade key. Every 7th grade teacher is going to have input into the 7th grade key. So that is the way, because if, if something would have just been created by a handful of teachers, that's just not, it's not going to work. We need everybody's input and feedback on that. And this is our first round of this. I mean, remember, this is round one of a living document. So I'm sure next year when we talk about this, it's going to get better. You found me. You know, but now, um, that's kind of what we want you to do. Any questions there, especially from my, from my curricular leaders? Okay. And um, at some point, we're going to want, obviously we're not going to have it this time, you'll have something that's normed there, and you'll have some examples for those levels. Next year, we're going to have student work for the examples of one, two, three, and four. Yes, so then you want us to save our anchors. I do. I do. Okay, you asked me that earlier. And was, yes, I do. Okay. There are time sheets. And can you pass these out to me, John? And I am going to have to have you fill this out. Every digit, as I call them out, they have trusted me with this budget number because I would have to fill out all 103 of these. If you did not do this um, correctly, I promise that there will be no errors made. Yes. Hey, Evie, I want to push back a little bit on that time to give the post assessment. Okay. As we were planning today, I think most people realized that we're barely going to get through phase one because we kind of can't really start the first couple weeks of September are 
instructional and different things. And then once we really started planning out like what our first few lessons might look like, it's like, man, we're already getting towards the end of September. I just, I just don't feel my, like I can be ready. So what do you need? What do you need that to be? Because remember that next year, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what happens. They're going to be six, and they're going to have two. So you're going to have to finish one in order to get to two. Who decided on six is my question. That was just the normal. When you look at everybody around us, um, and what is typically done, and actually teaching college six. I just think, like, if we are going to teach this the way that it needs to be taught, and, like, we did start mapping things out, and we have iReady, we have a pre-post-test, or we have a pre-test, and despite saying, like, it's going to take one hour, like, our first eight days is only a 40-minute session, like, we all have those quirky little things that are happening, we need to teach procedures, we need to go over the syllabus, like, that's not giving us the full time. I feel like take into account that the first two weeks of the we're going to get into this month. So can we shift that October Absolutely. 16th, like down yeah, at least? I'm, I'm, like I'm so flexible. Yeah. 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 I can change that. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I, I can just give you the end of the month to go around, and I get, like, we have to no actually problem. teach this, but we're not just, this year. Right. So let's teach it right Sarah, now. email that to me, please. And then I find it right actually go along. I'm glad that I'm ready. Yeah, I'm good with that. And two, at the very end of the year when we have um, narration and poetry, those units can be shorter. Yeah, for sure. They can be the four people. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, I want to do whatever works for you guys. Yes. Can we also you know, know when, like, like uh, <laughs> the test <laughs> things <laughs> begins, like, the I-Ready and yeah. I ready. I, ready. I think so the first I-Ready is August 31st weeks. to September 14th. 18th. 18th. Yeah, I know. We're doing it. It's, not, it's the 14th. We're doing it's it. It's the 14th. It's the 14th. It is Judy the 14th. Judy told me that it was. we were doing it the week of the 14th. Okay, so okay. it's the 14th. But just, um, if I could say something real quick. Yes. A lot of the schools that I've talked to so far, the problem is, is that the laptop deployment is later. Yes. And because we're starting so early in the season, right now at Matson, our laptop deployment is on the 9th, which gives us the 10th and 11th, which is a Thursday and a Friday to test. And, our, and I ready is due that Monday on the 14th. Oh so, gosh. I don't even That's have makeup point. days because I don't get my laptop in time and it's on laptop days. So, you asked a question earlier, you said, what can I do for you? My point would be, we need our laptops earlier. So, okay. And how does that work? So I know they pick the day. I don't know what happened to the parking lot. There was a parking lot. Yeah, we're, we were supposed to go back there and do the parking lot. It fell. That's awesome. Sarah, write that down in parking lot. Okay, um, but but to put this into perspective, I ready is due on the 14th. We can all begin unit one content. We won't be able to really begin it because of I ready and then the pre assessment, and then we have to grade it and talk about it. Would be September. Uh, we're seeing around. Um, we're starting on Thursday. You're September 14th. There's four weeks that you can't get into content. We don't have laptops yet. And so when we are, we're going to be I ready to teach reading, to teach a reading book. No, but we're also going to be doing the pre-assessment. That paper. takes two days on paper. We're not going to have kids get through the whole thing in one day. I mean, I was reading it. My students can't get through that more periods. Yeah, I, I Especially when our stay is shortened because it's the beginning of the year. So it's I see the pre-assessment as a two-day thing, and then a recap of it as a two-day thing. So that's four days already. That that's not the way that it's going to look in the unit. It's going to be one and one. So because they're 55-minute blocks, and we've had people take these actually, students take, up, and they were able to get it done in a in a time. In one class period. That was my <laughs> niece down. I like my niece was a four eighth grade was able to take the eighth grade test in uh, in 52 minutes. So okay, that that was my that works for you. I'll, I'll try. I try it if it doesn't work. That that's why this is round one. But 52 minutes is like that's almost your whole period. You're not going over directions. You still have to pass it out. And then, like I said, when you have an adjusted mm -hmm. schedule, like we're doing PBIS, yeah, 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 40 yeah, minutes, right. like there's always that kind of right. beginning. Right. But, but, but this is this is round one. Right. And this is what we're going to try for round one. So right. We can make adjustments for the next time. Yeah, I, just, I just wanted to say what I what I think I'm hearing is um, hopefully a shared appreciation. I appreciate the fact that this is coming. Um, I think I mean we we talked together for quite some time and just kind of going what felt like on our own all the time. So um, I don't know. I hear some excitement a little bit that this is good stuff and we want to give it its due and. 
are upset about all the things that interfere yes. with this. So, I think that that's I can that's 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 a point. That's a good point. I can't. Yeah. I mean, if I have teachers starting, principals will freak out if you're not even starting the unit until until Before the, the middle or end of September, three weeks in. Yeah. That, that's going to be, I, I'm not going to be able to defend that. So that can be at a building level, yep. but me, when they come to me, I, I'm not going to be able to um, to say I don't know why they haven't done that. So um, if I have justification, I can do that. I would, like to, sh I would like to show you what we so, um, put that on. I, okay. First, I want to give you the budget number because you want to be paid. <laughs> okay, so write this down exactly under where it says budget number. Okay, so down to budget number, it is 5213. Yes, down at yeah. the bottom. I'm gonna make sure everybody's got that down there where it says budget number. Five, two, one, three. Dash three one. Dash two zero six zero. Seven two one dash seven five four zero dash zero 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 zero. And you have no idea I had to talk my way into that budget number. Because I keep you know, because I'm told, no, nope, I mean you need to write them all, no, nope, somebody's gonna write it down wrong and you don't, you don't understand my language arts teachers are fantastic, and they're not going to make a mistake. They're going to all be written down correctly. What yeah. so hours? Your hours are um, 8, yeah, 8 to 2. Six hours of lunch. You had lunch was not working. Yep. And it's just special project ELA frameworks roll out. Yeah, that's a great So right now we are ERO is just being a pain right now. So if you email Dawn and say, uh, they wouldn't let me pay, then she'll just have you send her a check. Yeah, but I, Don but the whole room's agreed. K-U-N-Z. K-U-N-Z. Yes. School districts. I know. And I will say, I'm going to say this. Um, Dawn has been working with Sarah and Molly and Vicki yeah. who left. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 And I will say, I mean, I want Sarah and Molly and Vicki yeah. who left. I heard the frustration. You need to understand. I hear that. I will definitely change the window. Um, I can do that. That's that's not that's, six that's six not a problem. I think um, after we have this first go round, then we can make adjustments for next year. And I think it's just the iReady testing and the way that it's negotiated with that. That's the only thing that's getting us right now. So I ask, when you talk about the six units, are you taking into account the SBAC and the iReady in the middle and the iReady at the end? So you took all those days out and then you divided the leftover days by six and we did? We did? With all of that, there's time to do six there's units. With four weeks, I feel six like we're weeks. living in an alternate universe. <laughs> it's very four. There's four weeks. We have four there's weeks or six weeks. Um, yeah, for a unit, we did. We combined them like or we separated out like argument meeting and argument writing. We kept them in argument, 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 argumentation. But are they listed? Reading and writing for argument. Is one unit? But in one unit. In six weeks. Hmm. But, I mean, research you're going to be doing all year long, even though it's really the focus in one. You're going to be doing argument, certainly yeah. probably starting in right. unit Question two. People are going to start defending yeah. and having an opinion. Clock um, yeah. hour sheets. Um, uh, Dawn did not print them out with ERO, so again, that's going to be for her. Through, through her, if you email Dawn. I have all your sign-in sheets. No. Yes, I have the sign-in sheets that I will turn in. Mm -hmm. 
for you to get your notes. Okay, we've got this. Okay, and let me see, let's see if I can email Don Coons, K U N C if you signed up for this on ERO. If you have not signed up for it, it's gonna be too late. With that. Okay, do you have our random? That was for clock hours. Clock yeah. hours.